Hello and welcome. I am Raghav, and today we are going to learn something very interesting. And the topic is blue green deployment. So we are going to see what is blue green deployment, how it works, how it helps us in DevOps, and we will also see how to keep data in sync during blue green deployment. So this is going to be very interesting. So let's start and let's take an example. Suppose we have an application which is a flight booking application and we have Sam who is a user and she wants to book some flight tickets on this application. And on the DevOps side, we have Alex who is a DevOps engineer and he is responsible for doing all the deployments on this application. Now let's say there is a new release, there is a new update and Alex wants to deploy this new update on the application. So he does this new deployment on the application which is uh, being used by the users. And during the deployment process, there is some issue and the application is malfunctioning and we have to bring down the application. So in this case, it is a very, uh, it is a lot of problem for the user as well as for the dev team. On the user side, we have, failure in transactions, the users cannot use the application now because it is now down. There is user loss, business loss and loss of trust and so many other issues with this downtime. And on the uh, team side, on the developer or the DevOps side, we have other issues like now, Alex will be having a lot of tension and anxiety. He will have sleepless nights. We don't know what is the issue. He will have to figure out the issue. The application cannot be down for a long time. He will have to uh, check the entire team will have to figure out the issues and do a hot fix and redeployment and then there will be so many other issues. So to solve this issue, to solve this problem, we have blue green deployment. Now what is blue green deployment? Here we keep two identical production environment. One is called blue and the other one is called green. Now one of this environment is the live environment uh, where the users are using the application which is live with the users. Let us say in our case, blue environment as of now is the live environment and the other environment is uh, kept idle or it is kept for testing and all the new deployments are done and tested on the idle environment or the test environment. So here, uh, and when we say environment, it is a combination of all the servers, operating systems, uh, containers, virtual machines, or anything required to run the application or to run the code and the complete application. So here we have two identical production environment and users are on one of the environments. So let us say the blue environment is our live environment where the users are using the application. Now, uh, whenever we have to do the deployment, we will do it on the other environment that is our test environment. So let's say we have done the deployment on the test environment, which is the green environment in this case. And after the final testing and everything uh, is okay, we will switch the users to this new environment or to this other environment. So now the users will be switched to the green environment. And now the green environment becomes the live environment and the blue environment is the test environment. And here uh, to switch, we use some switching mechanism like a router or a load balancer or a, a reverse proxy or web server. So we can use any of these mechanisms and we can do the switching between these environments. And here the and other environment can now be kept for any rollbacks or backups or disaster recovery. Let's say, although we have tested and then done the switching, but still if anything happens after switching, we can keep the other environment ready for rollbacks or if we have to do any kind of uh, backups or disaster recovery, we can use the other environment which is not being used. So this is how blue green deployment works. And here the advantages are, the very, very important advantage is now there is no downtime. We do not have to face any downtime. The user can be switched. And if anything wrong happens, we can switch them back to the other environment and there will be no downtime. And then there will be no need to wait for the server idle time or the minimum traffic window when minimum number of users are using the application to do the deployments. So without blue green deployments, generally we choose a time where our uh, where these number of users are active on the application and then we do the deployments. But in this case, we don't have to wait for that time. Uh, rollback if required will be very easy. Any debugging required we can do, for example, if we have to do a rollback, then we will still have the other environment where some issue happened and we can uh, 
do the analysis. We can do the debugging there. Uh, now the DevOps team, the Dev team, operations team will not have any sleepless nights. They can very easily do the deployment switch and do rollbacks if necessary, and there will be no user loss and no business loss. So this is how blue green deployment works, and this is, these are the advantages of blue green deployment. Now a very very important thing in blue green deployment is we have to uh, maintain the data in sync, or we have to keep data in sync between these environments. So let's take an example. Uh, just at the time of switching, if some user was using the application and he has done some transaction which is saved in the database, after switching, the database should be in the same state. So we should keep the data in sync. And for doing this, we use shared resources where we can have databases and services. So both the environments share some resources so that we can keep data in sync. And this is how we can keep the data in sync between these environments. So blue-green deployment is a DevOps release management strategy, which reduces downtime and risks. And here we keep two identical production environment. One of the environment is called blue and the other environment is called green. And one environment is live and the other environment is idle or is available for all the deployments and tests. And when deployments and tests are successful on the idle environment, the user traffic is switched to the environment which is now ready for uh, which is now ready with tested deployed code so this is what blue and green deployment is i hope this was very useful if you have any question for me for the next episode of ask raghav you can let me know in the comment section below and i will see you in the next session thank you for watching and never stop learning